Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Rad Kutarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so uh, this is going to be a Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon, and as well Scorpio Rising, a weekly tarot reading October 7th to October 13th, 2019. And just bear with me a, a couple of seconds, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards and uh, we can jump right into it. So, uh, the first card which stands for the topic of our Scorpio week is going to be the Seven of Wands, followed by the next one which represents the challenges that we need to overcome here. We do have the Ace of uh, Wands, then uh, the card of the positive aspect of uh, our week, that is going to be the Four of Pentacles, and the last card which represents the guidance the tarot is offering to us, uh, we do have the lover's card. All right, so before we pick up the cards one by one, uh, let's run them one more time. So the topic and the team is going to be the seven of wands, followed by the next one, which is the challenges of the ace of wands. Then we do have the four of pentacles standing for the positive aspect of the week. And then the last one is going to be the lover's card, which is in regards to the top, to the guidance. And give me one second, guys. I need a little bit of a deliberation here because that, that's a tough one, all right? I mean, tarot is like a language. And as you know, if you do know two languages, all right, uh, you probably know that there are some things you simply cannot translate. I mean, it's, it's you have to explain them. And I do hope that here I will be able to make my points across as clear as I can because it's, it's a really tough one. Um... And I don't know what the catalysts are going to be as well to the cards. So uh, let's start with the seven of uh, wands and the, and the catalyst here is going to be the tree of pentacles. So we do have an, an active neutrals and it does look like that our mind is going to be occupied with something throughout the week, all right? That, that thing is going to appear to us as a some sort of a, a temptation, either inworthy or outworthy as well. And we are going to be on our... We're going to be like a cat ready to pounce. Now, the thing is uh, with these uh, two cards, it is that we pretty much have found our source either of happiness, lucrivity, you know, or we are about to find our source of happiness, lucri lucrivity, um, uh, growth, and etc. etc. And uh, it doesn't look like here that anyone that it is around us or anything, in fact, that it is around us will be able to tell us otherwise. So um, we can expect, I mean, as a Scorpio to really um, come up into a, a substantial thing that it is worth fighting for, you know, that it is worth developing, that it is worth uh, putting time into, if you want to say it that way. And if 
anybody approaches us saying, are you out of your mind? You know, it is just they don't know what they're talking about. But the worst thing here, it is that we may not actually um, get any support that we may expect from certain people. I know that we need it, you know, but these people could be a friends of ours and still they may not give us the support that we expect from friends. But the thing is that uh, no matter how big discussions you're gonna lead with those around you, they're not gonna be able to sway you either way from, from, from your goal or from your agenda or from our agenda, all right? Because um, we, uh, we kind of, we're, we're going to have that big clamor into it. And at the very least, uh, Scorpio or we Scorpio, we will be able to really hold our ground. I mean, strong and, and proud and ready to deflect any kind of attack that it is meant to desecrate our relationships, our careers as well. Not that there are going to be attacks, but we're just going to be ready about it, all right? Um, um, you know, our future in, in prospects and etc, etc. We are going to be a force to be reckoned with throughout uh, this week. And uh, for that reason, it is very advisable for us as a Scorpio to, instead of jeopardizing our positions and our domain in general, to look into that domain, in that same domain, you know, and try to um, consolidate as much as we can in it. So the next one, uh, it will be in regards to the challenge that will be the Ace of Wands and it is accompanied or it is catalyzed by the Queen of Wands. So we need to be extremely careful with, uh, with those around us, okay? I mean, these two cards are really pointing that should, uh, uh, there are people around us that really knows how to press our, button, our buttons and they really understand our, our nature, our weakness, you know, our strengths and etc, etc. And with these two cards as well, it is quite unlikely that we're gonna find any, uh, a, a new excitement throughout the week. I mean, I'm not saying that there won't be any new we uh, or windows opening throughout this week, but it is just we're not gonna see the benefit in it. We're, like I said, we're just gonna focus on one and only thing for us. And until that thing starts to develop, we, uh, we will not want to put our mind into something else because it's going to be a substantial thing for us once again. So while there are going to be new windows opening here and there, you know, new propositions maybe, and this is what I meant under pressing the button. I mean, people will try to tempt you, all right? People will try to uh, to to kind of like sway the, the the scales of balance in favor of the mutual agenda with them, not with your agenda that you're gonna have or that we are gonna have. And uh, for that reason, um, <clears throat> it is very important here not to be uh, not to be swayed with promise of, uh, for example, developing slumbering talents, you know, or for a, a promise of, of of rewards at the end. It all comes to that, you know, how much you're gonna jeopardize your current milestones, your current possessions, because. Um, even in the stars, which is something that I'm going to do in um, that I probably as you watch that video, I already done it and you're free to check in my Facebook page. But that will be the uh, live stream in regards to the uh, Pluto goes direct and it is it pretty much covers uh, that topic here. It is uh, we are going to focus on the substantial thing, one substantial thing that we pretty much missed up until this moment and we will not want to jeopardize it in any way. So um, additionally to that, uh, there could be a bit of a danger of a chaotic behavior by you. I mean, at the start of certain endeavors, you may not know what to do or you may have way too many ideas what to do in general. Uh, if that happens, uh, don't, don't, be, uh, don't be afraid, don't frantic and, and, and freak about it as well. Uh, that it is just your inspiration and as well your creativity talking. So if you need to take a few, um, a few moments or maybe a day off just to calm, your just to calm yourself down and to uh, collect your mind, you know, um, kind of structure your strategy, uh, that will uh, play a great role and great benefits for, excuse me, for you. 
So the next one, uh, that will be the positive aspect for a Scorpio, and we do have the Four of Pentacles. This card is going to be catalyzed, my God, with the uh, High Priestess Testament for the longevity. It's not even a longevity, guys. It's a lifetime thing with these two cards. But um, we, uh, we are going to step on a established concepts throughout the week, all right? It's established beliefs, if you want to say it that way, meaning that we ain't going to jeopardize anything. We're not going to be risky in nature. This is what I'm trying to say. And instead of um, risking to lose something, to gain something, we will prefer not to lose anything, but also not to gain anything, because guess what? We already gained it, right? We already have that uh, source of our inspiration, like I said, that source of our growth, source of our longevity, uh, excuse me, and these two cards points that should we focus on that source, it's going to be long lasting or it's going to be a lifetime kind of a source. It's a testament with the high priestess. High priestess is a catalyst, especially to the four of pentacles, speaks for a fortress that you are going to build. Not just domain, not just a, uh, a home estate. It's a fortress. It's like an empire surrounded with encampments that are ready to guard the empire itself but also uh, <clears throat> we uh, should we try we can really establish uh, or ensure we can really ensure excuse me a certain future for ourselves either for our career or either for our relationship but once again i cannot stress you enough here scorpio it is important that we don't look outside our uh, our domain we need to now start look inside our domain and under inside i mean the opportunities that we already have not a new opportunity that are about uh, opportunities that are about to come around okay because such are going to come around but they serve only as a temptation something to distract you from the main path from from the from the main goal from the true love from the uh, lucrative job, you know, or from uh, the growing business and so on and so forth. And uh, here uh, with uh, the high priestess, especially to the four of uh, pentacles, you're going to have uh, that sense, you know, I mean, your inner voice is going to be quite of a amplified here. An inner voice is not a uh, intuition. It's a completely different thing. The inner voice speaks from the inner guidance. It does speak for your subconscious. And this uh, subconscious speaks with a um, argument that your conscious didn't catch up but your subconscious did and it does appear as an intuition but it is not in an intuition all right so uh, your your inner voice is going to it's it's kind of like it's not even a, a feeling it is more like a, a deduction when uh, something appears to you as an opportunity you are instantly gonna have that hunch if you want to say it that way uh, and it's kind of you know what it's not really worth it jeopardizing my current uh, milestones for that thing that does not really promise and uh, that, uh, that is going to develop 100% secure. And so at the end, we do have a deal lover's card, which represents the guidance, and it is accompanied by the Knights of Cups. We do have a active neutrals here. So uh, it does, the guidance reflect, it's, it's quite of a, a broad guidance. It does depend what the fulcrum is going to be for us, but we can, um, definitely the guidance here tells us that we should enjoy flirting, we should enjoy intimacy as well. It's typical for the lover's card, especially for newly found relationships. With uh, the uh, Knights of Cup, with the Knights of Cups to the lovers as a uh, active neutral, uh, the card does point that we also may undergo certain changes of, uh, of dreams of ours, meaning, you know, letting go of dreams that now are seeming quite silly and stupid and adopting new dreams of ours as well. And uh, it's kind of like a changing our feelings as well towards specific things. Person that we don't liked, now we may change our feelings toward it and now like them, you know, or thing that we liked, we may find it repulsive for that point. Just don't be afraid of such undergo a, a transformation into one's feelings. Because uh, with the lovers here, uh, at the end of the day, this uh, this uh, change of, uh, of uh, emotional state, it's not even emotional state, because feelings and emotions are two different things. But uh, this, the, uh, the change of our states of feelings 
uh, is going to uh, make a lot of uh, problems that we do have quite irrelevant, okay? We are just not going to think about it, about them any longer. And uh, with that, we can ensure quite of a good relationships around us with co-workers, with friends, with potential suitors, you know, partners in life, husband's wife, and etc., etc. And it will help us as well to make a major, major decision because probably this is what is going to await us at the end of the week. And that being said, Scorpio, this was your weekly tarot reading, guys, October 7 to October 13, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, and we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.